Greetings from the International Space Station. I'm Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, and I'm really glad to be with you on Yuri's Night, the day, no matter where we are, when we come together to celebrate the past, the present, and the future of human space exploration. Yuri's Night commemorates the day that humanity first entered space, the 12th of April, 1961. I was almost two. And connects people across the planet, and even here in orbit. Like Yuri Gagarin did over 50 years ago, Yuri's Night calls on humanity to protect the beauty of planet Earth while looking to the stars. Whether it's from a single pluck of a guitar string to the orbital maneuvering thrusters that are on this space station, Yuri's Night brings the talent and the creativity of people together from all walks of life with the inspiration of space. The orbital perspective that I've been privileged to share through social media, it shows how we are advancing in ways of communication, allowing us to connect and bring space into everyone's everyday life. On the space station, we're running over a hundred different experiments simultaneously, from medical experiments on changes to the body, to metal sintering here in the racks, to collecting dark matter and dark energy, the very stuff of the universe. We've come a long way in 52 years but really we've only just begun to explore the cosmos. In the next 52 years, I can imagine building on this, inventing new engines, uh, new power sources, uh, a level of safety and reliability setting us free to travel beyond low Earth orbit, to live on the moon, to live on Mars, and to go beyond. From Yuri's courageous first flight, to Neil's first step, to the leaps we've made since, and to the giant leaps that await our creativity and our drive in our inventiveness. Celebrant ensemble l'héritage de Yuri Gagarin. I'd like to wish everyone a happy Yuri's night.